Good girl. Sit. Good. Oh yeah, come. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Good leave it. Get down. Get down. Oreo, come. Good girl. Yes, this way. Good girl. Okay. There we go. Good girl. Come, it's okay. Good girl. Good girl. Or you come down. Good. Yes, good girl. Yep. Good. Good girl, touch. Yes. Girl. Yes, good girl. Down, good. Touch. Down. Good. Come.
Good girl. Good. Get down. Go. Hi. Who's that? So this is what a typical walk looks like. She's still very unsure of her surroundings. You'll have to excuse me, I have really bad allergies. But she's doing well following, both on her verbal commands as well as leash pressure. See, You can tell by her kind of body posture, her tail kind of being low, she being kind of uncertain. I'm gonna try to keep getting her out more and more so she gets used to everything. Seems very shy of strangers. Oreo, yes, good girl. Very good. Down, good. Have to be really preemptive when asking her to get down. Usually when she approaches, sometimes especially for her treats or rewards, she gets really excited. So just letting her know on approach. Let's go ahead and settle. Girl. I've got her on the long lead here. Just so we can practice her following nicely every now and then to help encourage her. I'll lock it at a, a shorter, normal leash length. She does really well, just kind of following on her own. Good girl. Good, good down, good job. We wanna to try to be as consistent as possible with treating her to our side here. Unless, of course, we have to recall her from another side. But even then, I can get her to resituate with a simple touch command. Touch. Good. Good girl up here. Good. And it's important before we give her a treat that she faces, pays attention, and gives us eye contact instead of just focusing on the treat bag or the treat itself. Girl. She's also gotten better at leaving things on command, like that there. Yes, good girl. With me, down, come. Yes, good girl, very good. We either use the leash pressure or her name. Most of the time we don't even need to give the command, unless of course it's a little too late and it's already in her mouth and we work on drop it. Girl, yeah, touch. Good. Yeah, good.
Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Still trying to take her out when it's a little bit uh, Oreo. Yes, good girl. When it's a little bit quieter. Once we start getting her used to the neighborhood and the few people and kids and cars in this area, let's we'll start taking her to the nearby shopping center where it's going to be even busier. The trick to an easier transition is going to be going either later on in the evenings or during the weekday mornings when it's gonna be a little bit slower. So that way she can kind of get used to the area before we go on the, the really busy times when there's a lot of people in cars. Good girl, good leave it, come. So just use the leash pressure there. It looked like cardboard, but I wasn't sure. I think that's all it is. going to be a, still a very good idea to try to be aware of your surroundings as much as possible just because she is a, a puppy and she will be very interested in things that are on the floor. Good girl. She's doing well keeping up, not going too far out. Good girl, yes. To keep from always having to call her, I'll also reward her and let her know that she did well when she just checks back in on her own or just with the leash pressure. Getting a little bit braver and going out ahead. Good girl. Trying to get her used to responding to her name in different environments. <laughs> Good girl. Down. Good. Oh, look at the pup. Hi, pup. Good girl. Good girl, come. Good girl, up here. Down, yes, good down. Definitely still likes to pause a lot. Good girl. Taking her environment. I'm just doing my best right now to be patient and not drag her along. Giving her an opportunity more so to kind of 
get used to her surroundings, all the different sounds, sights of people. Good, good girl. Good sit. Good girl. Yeah. And give her a reward there. She overshot a little bit, but checked back in without being prompted. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Good, leave it. Thank you. Thank you. Good girl, come. Keep her from crossing over. Just gonna use a little leash pressure. Go. Good girl. So I'm waiting for her to either get too far ahead or too deep into somebody's yard or to go into the road to either use the leash or her name to get her back. She's doing really good uh, about sticking close and checking in. Because she's a little bit more exploratory and all over the place makes filming her a little bit more difficult but walking her is actually really easy so it just might look a little bit more busy than it actually is just because of the additional camera work good girl
going downhill now so that kind of encourages her to speed up which is nice good girl wait down good girl yes good girl Using some leash pressure there to get her to come with. Yes, good girl. So down. Good. Good girl, good potty, good job. Good girl. She was playing with her friend right before the, the session and drinking water, so had a feeling that she probably would need to pee while we're out. That's kind of the, the benefits of having her out and about. She went number two earlier, about an hour ago, so she should be okay until shortly after dinner and then after she uses the bathroom here she should be good to to go as well on that front when she goes back home and play with her friend a little bit more Cora's leg is a little injured so giving her a little break back at home Usually I'll take them both out so I can keep an eye on them and their potty behaviors, but she did everything before we left, so I know that she'll be okay. We use the double leash and just alternate um, calling Oreo's name or doing the vibrate for Cora. And usually when one comes back, the other, both of them do for a treat, so it kind of works out pretty easily. Oh, good girl. She's definitely very apprehensive of things. Yes, good girl. I try to transition her into kind of moving a lot with me for treats. Very good, good girl. This will be more advanced later on, but be good to get started with. Wait, there's a car here. I don't think anybody's in it. Okay, so we're good. But it's good to practice down. Down. No. Good. No. No. Good. No. Good. And she was trying to get the treats by herself out of the bag. Nope. Good girl. So I'm just practicing with her. Good. Good girl. There you go. It's very treat motivated, but shouldn't be getting it herself. Leave it. Yeah. Good girl. Good.
Leave it. Good. Come. Good. Oreo. Leave it. Good. Good girl. Thank you. Good. Stay. Stay. Uh uh. Oreo. Sit. Stay. Good girl. There we go. Just getting some. No. Stay down. Good girl. Just getting some formal leave it practice in. Sorry if the camera is going to be moving around. I have to try to put this back on now. Let's see. I'm just going to put this down. Hopefully that was in frame. I didn't get a chance to flip out the screen. All right. She's doing good though. Especially considering how food motivated and driven she is. Teaching her those impulse controls it can definitely take some time. But she listens well. Let's see if she wants to meet a friend. Hey, how are you doing? Good girl. How's it going? Very good. Good girl. I know. They're on a walk too. Looks like a training walk as well. Good. Good girl. <laughs> yes. Very good. Good girl. Good job. I'm walking over here. <laughs> Yes, good, leave it. Good girl. Good job. Come on, let's go. Good girl. one of the few times when I have the opposite problem is most pups especially puppies like to kind of move quickly and follow their nose and get ahead here because of her apprehensiveness she more so is slower and lags behind so just giving her confidence by letting her explore a little bit and giving her that positive feedback when she catches up or maintains focus is working well for her there's no real reason to kind of force pace in our situation so good girl good girl down down good girl good stay good job all right let's go sit oh good weight good job down get down down Yes, good down, come. Good. Good. Good girl. 
Ready? Go. Sit. Good girl.